We were approached by some outside organizations to increase public awareness about deep vein thrombosis or DVT. It's the most common cause of unexpected in-hospital mortality in the United States. And it's common in hospitalized patients because they may have major surgery, they may have cancer, they may be in bed for several days, and that puts them at risk for developing a blood clot. So what we have done is that every patient who comes into the hospital at either campus has their risk of blood clots assessed as part of their admission orders so that we don't allow anybody to slip through without at least considering their risk for blood clots and appropriately treating them. We pride ourselves on providing complete care for all vascular problems. One of the nice things about our institution and our group and at Columbia and Cornell is that we, we provide very high level specialized service in terms of very unique disease processes from aortic aneurysms of all types to carotid disease to lower extremity vascular disease to vein problems. We do a lot of interventions on people's arteries in their legs for something termed claudication, which basically means that they have blockages in their arteries and when they try to walk, they get discomfort in their muscles and they can't walk. Or it can also involve much more severe cases of arterial insufficiency, such as uh, pain at rest or ulcers or even gangrene, which puts patients at high risk, obviously, for amputation. If they have arterial disease in their legs, chances are they have it in their hearts. And so they tend to be patients who don't always tolerate major surgery well. So we've taken a very aggressive approach about treating them in a minimally invasive way. And we can often make them better in a one to two hour session and send them home the next day with really good results. It's this idea that we provide the absolute world's greatest care for anything from the simplest problem to the most complex problem in any area. And we do that in a way with such a personal touch that most folks feel like they're going to their family doctor when they go to even the most accomplished specialist uh, in the world. All the doctors here are very focused on caring for all the aspects of their patients. So in other words, if one of my colleagues in pulmonary medicine or internal medicine is seeing a patient in his or her office and says, oh, by the way, I have this vascular problem, they know that they'll call the office or email me or call me on my cell phone and say, hey, I got this person in the office, can they come up and see you? We try to make the experience for the patients less cumbersome and everybody here tends to really go with that model.